Candidates are making their final appeals for votes ahead of tonight's Iowa caucuses. And Vivek Ramaswamy among them. He spent the weekend attending events despite a massive snowstorm as he encouraged supporters to push through that weather to caucus today. The one thing about us, we come rain or shine, snow or sleet. George Washington didn't complain about the weather when he crossed the Delaware. It's every other candidate has been canceling their events this week. We've been physically, if we get there, we have gotten to basically every single one except for two. Braving it all still <laughs> is our CBS News campaign reporter, Shada Mazel. She's been covering the Ramaswamy campaign for us and, and braving that snow, braving that sleet. Uh, Shana, good morning. Very good to see you. Good morning. Yeah, so Vivek Ramaswamy campaigning down until the final minute, even today here in Iowa. He's got three events scheduled ahead of the caucuses. And he's saying that he thinks the polls are rigged. He's pushing them to the side and he's expecting a lot of confidence as we look forward to tonight. Well, what is he hoping to gain by staying in the race at this point? As, as we were pointing out, he's polling in the single digits, according to our CBS News polling. Mr. Ramaswamy actually feels that he has a moral duty or obligation, as he says, to stay in the race. He says that there are two America First candidates, Donald Trump being one of them and him being the other. But he says that the deep state and the establishment will not allow Donald Trump to go back to the White House. And so he's actually saying that he's going to be in this race for the long haul. Hmm. And, and with Trump, uh, with that sizable lead for Trump right now, we're in campaign claiming that he is in a three-way tie for second place, citing their internal polling. Do you sense that it's an attempt to keep morale up, to shape that narrative in a different way? I honestly think that they genuinely feel confident going into tonight. I don't think it's about morale. Mr. Ramaswamy is big on return on investment, so he thinks that all of his events he's done, it'll be 390 events in Iowa before tonight. He thinks that this is going to culminate into a lot of support. And he says that a lot of his supporters that will come out tonight are going to be first-time caucus goers and people that aren't traditionally polled and haven't been reached out to by all of the polls that we're seeing. So they're really confident in this internal data that they're touting. Sean uh, you know, you mentioned Trump, uh, somebody who turned on Ramaswamy just days ago, declaring the businessman is, quote, not MAGA. How is Ramaswamy's team responding to this? Vivek Ramaswamy doesn't usually pull his punches, but he's keeping quiet when it comes to this beef that just came up on Saturday with the former president. He says that Trump was one of the greatest presidents and he refuses to attack him. He says that it's not good to have friendly fire within the America First movement. And so he's really just not addressing it. Interesting. I know all eyes are on what happens tonight, but what is the sense of uh, your sense of the post Iowa strategy right now for Ramaswamy? Well, right now, they already have a few events scheduled in New Hampshire where they're going to be heading tomorrow. Mr. Ramaswamy will start his day off in Exeter, New Hampshire, and his wife is also going to be heading there, Dr. Aporva, and she has a few events in New Hampshire as well. And so, like I said, he's going to be in this for the long haul. Okay, Shauna Mazel, thanks so much.